Hello everyone, welcome back. And we're doing a demo review right now. So, this is from a playoffs match. Um, and afterwards, there was some criticism levied towards me that I was feeding, um, which I don't think I'll disagree with, but that's just something I wanted to focus on here. Um, I have not reviewed... Oh man, this is stuttery, huh? I have not reviewed a Koth demo yet. Um, so, it could be interesting to, to talk about. Koth, in many respects, is kind of one-dimensional for demo. Um, it, it, you're just kind of playing the spam game, um, by and large. But uh, Bagel has some intricacies, so you know, action across point. There's there's two sides to the point. Um, and a lot of bagel demo, as you can see here, what I'm doing is trying to just find, you know, that aggressive timing across point, trying to sink some stickies across, get some damage. The demo actually does that to me and ends up trading the damage very positively, forcing me to back up and heal. And on a map like bagel where the point caps so quickly, um, just forcing their demo back to reheal with spam for, you know, a brief moment is often enough to, to get the cap, so it can matter a lot. So I'm not really involved in this fight that's happening because I'm just too weak and out, but my team is getting the force, so good job, team. Um, uh-oh. That behind kills me. Um, that, not a feed, I'll say. I mean, it depends. If it's, like, being called that that guy's there and it's being called where my combo is, then yeah, I should just go to my combo and then I'll, I'll be living. But uh, that kind of just seemed like a chaos situation. Um, not really. You can't really fault player too much for dying to that, uh, necessarily. Oh, their med dies. That's really nice for us. So, we can set up, not exactly a forward hold, because we don't have a soldier yet, but uh, a little type of forward. I do like trapping the pack a lot when forward holding, because it's kind of hard to get... It's hard to trust your debt on these doors, because a soldier can jump through. I think they can just speed shot through. Like, they can get through very quickly, um, as you can see here. For some reason, this soldier goes back door, though, which is insane to me. Um, but anyway. So, forward wasn't really effective there. I could have done more, probably. Uh, I was just very preoccupied with that soldier, because I was, like, so sure that he was jumping into my trap. But, uh, no. So, actually spamming the doorway there, um, or just trusting the debt, and if he doesn't actually land on the pack, then, you know, you don't get the damage, but, you know, rotating over to the like, go stare at it is kind of strange. Um, anyway, we have the point, so... Name of the game right now is kind of just ammo management. Uh, that being said, as you can see right there, even when you have the point, and this is a really important thing for Bagel, and just in general actually with TF2, is um, the the common wisdom for when you have control of the point on, on Koth in general is that you don't really have to do much, or rather your, your main efforts should be to stifle the other team's efforts. Um, being that the longer a fight goes on with like nothing really materially happening or it being kind of stalemate -y. and I don't mean stalemate as in no one dies, I mean stalemate in the sense that neither team resoundingly wins. So you could trade down, like sometimes there's super chaotic Koth stalemates where stalemate doesn't even seem like the right word because it's literally like teams wiping back and forth, medic dropping, uh, nonstop chaos for like a full minute even sometimes, just pure chaos. More so in like lower divs as well, like sometimes there's super, super chaotic, difficult to tease apart situations in Koth. But if the point never flips during those, then it strictly benefits one team actually, and that's just the team that's uh, that whose clock is ticking down that entire time. That being said, though, um, even though on Koth your main effort should be to like stop the cap time and just prevent what they're trying to do, um, I still think on Bagel especially, which is a point that flips very quickly and a point or a map whose uh, spawns are very fast, I think finding aggressive timings and still shoving houses, still getting aggressive on point. Um, is really effective even when you're the defending team just because um, in some respects a good defense is just or a strong offense is a good defense because as you can see here their scouts like trying to start uh, capping the point but I'm pushing across the left side point as that's happening and we're able to isolate 
like spam on that guy and convert that into a pick. That's basically like their entire pressure ruined at this point. They could try to continue pressuring, but we have the man advantage. So it's going to be like very difficult for them to do anything. So just by like finding that nice timing across point as a demo, I'm able to basically, uh, with the help of my team, of course, stifle their efforts. That being said, right there, we do just let them cap. Um, that's not really, I mean, I could, of course, be doing more effective damage across point, as I always could. And yeah, again, like those guys, yeah, look at that. Now they're just getting forced. Um, I could be, of course, just hitting more shots and doing more damage across the point. But by and large on Bagel, um, the person actively standing on the point to prevent the other team from capping is a scout, most often the, the combo scout. Um, so yeah, we probably should have had a scout on the point there, just denying that uh, that cap time, and we probably wouldn't have lost it to begin with. But you can see, like, just finding that aggressive uh, timing across point, um, able to get so much damage on the scout and enough damage on the med that they're like, let's just take this uber right now, try and get the exchange out of the way. Um, and the way it's looking, we're going to have a very advantageous exchange. Ooh, and I'm actually bombing this, so that tells me that I thought it was good enough to chase. Um... My bomb is not great. At least, like, the only pick you're looking to catch there, realistically, is the medic. Everyone else is just, like, a little bonus, and in some cases, like, completely pointless. But, uh, oh, and here I am. That soldier, like, that was the first soldier I ever saw, like, bomb through backdoor and just completely ignore the pack. And I was like, what the hell is he doing? I'm just gonna trap that. Because <laughs> it seems like something you would only do if you're, uh, really, you know, dedicated to that. But uh, just trying to sink some stickies as they're walking through the door. Actually blind at a soldier on the other side of the map, I think, is what happened there. Um, so, yeah, nice. We have a pick now. We've had the point this whole time. Um, and, yeah, we're we're happy. Of course, this is ad, so we'd be looking to take an Uber. It looks like I am. Yeah, oh, and med is completely caught. So any med that's any... I mean, that med was, like, extremely caught. But unless their med is, like, really pushed up back by concrete or almost in main already, um, and in some cases, well, they could be playing the kite left, I suppose. Um, ooh, that's scary. Yeah, I remember this. Our med does end up dying because that scout gets across. Um, yeah, at, at, when a med is forward on Koth, uh, you, and you have add, you want to use your Uber to kill them, of course. Um... That's just good practice. Um, so yeah, so I do like forward traps here. When forward holding, I usually like, well, I just like defaulting left just because that's, you know, a very simple plan. Unfortunately, one of those sticks was sticking out, but oh, I'm able to. As scouts that are shooting stickies are actually like very easy targets because they tend to stand still. Um, you, you can get a lot of just like pipe kills and things with that. Oh, and they're just wiping here. So 10 seconds left. We basically already won the round. Um, at this point, I'm. This is literally just a suicidal play, which is totally fine. Um, because in a situation like that, where they don't even have cap time on point, um, those players need to get to point as fast as possible. If you're literally just a body way further forward than you should be, uh, just slowing them down, then that can prevent them from having even a chance to get to point. Uh, so I was trying to go to the spawn and just wreak havoc, I guess. Oh, I missed the pack on the rollout. Uh, so that's a little unfortunate, but whatever. Okay, so we're looking at a new mid here. Trying to sink across there. Only a little bit of damage on the demo. Nothing too crazy. At this point, the point is capable, so... Now, it's worth noting as well that usually aggression is best across the point uh, with your scout, uh, your combo scout. Ooh, and I'm like shooting past that demo. Um, oh, and I actually dodge my bow and then die. So I think I can call that a feed. Um, I don't think it was like just poor, it was poor play getting me killed, I, I guess I'll say. Um, so that's, that's one of those deaths that you would look at and try to avoid in the future. Um, because, first and foremost, I was just not that effective at stopping the demo's cross. He was able to get way more damage on me than I got on them. Um, and part of that is being able to read what they're trying to do. Um, because 
Oftentimes, if you can preempt that cross and shoot the sticky almost in front of them just as they're rounding that corner to go peek. Uh, here, I'm just trying to like shoot sticks at my med because uh, I see a soldier bomb, so I assume he's trying to land on my med. Uh, anyway, if uh, you can preempt that cross and have those that sticky or like a sticky and a half, I suppose, because you're like almost about to shoot another one um, on the way as they're... And I'm going for this. Oh, this is a funny situation. <laughs> I didn't even realize that uh, their med was trying to kite right lobby. I thought my soldier was chasing deep left. Anyway, um, if you can preempt that aggression from them, then you can hit a demo or something for like 150 damage. And then they they should die and get cleaned up by someone. Um, but it's a matter of reading that. So what I did as that demo was crossing there that got me killed is I was kind of shooting behind them, um, not assuming that the demo was going to walk forward, kind of assuming they were standing where they were going to stay where they were at to uh, get spam. Here, I don't I don't know if I like how committed I am to that really deep trap. Um, I ended up like completely rolling the demo, but he didn't even die. Um, and with all the players getting through like that and me being so forward, it's just kind of, it, it's risky. Um, I don't think it was terrible here because I was able to get the debt on the demo, but that demo could have easily taken another route and uh, not been on that trap. Um, so that could have been bad. May have just been better to spread damage on the players, especially if my soldiers are like, if we're actually properly doing the forward. I also like... Uh, Man, there's so many thoughts going on. That's just the nature of Koth, I guess. Um, I, yeah, if if we're properly playing the forward hold and like rotating some spam over as they're trying to get through, if I'm just spreading damage on those players getting through instead of trying to get a single pick with a trap, then uh, they're more likely to lose a player, I think, than just playing the trap. Um, we actually ended up getting two kills even without me. Um, I guess I was somewhat effective with the damage. Like, I was hitting a couple players besides just the demo. I dead on someone else. Um, I don't even know. I doubt the soldier took any of the dead. He probably would have died because I was like a full buff demo. Um, but anyway, I think just spreading damage more uh, would have been more effective to, to play with my team here because uh, we were adequately, like, spamming them out as they're entering. Uh, or rather, my soldiers were. Oh, right. Yeah, the... I, I prefer, like, a deeper trap on that door against the, the soldier bomb getting through, I think. At least, like, if the soldier's just doing, like, a one rocket jump from the door. Okay, so I do enough damage there that I know they're going to force, so I just immediately start backing up. Unfortunately, we repop, like, immediately, which I don't think we really had to, but uh, that's whatever. And then, yeah, we just let them cap. Uh, we could have just... And this is something we talked about afterwards, um, is... Uh, my pocket scout is going to adjust by actually not waiting until the cap is like almost flipped to stand on the point and deny that cap time, but like fight every inch along the way. Because a lot of the time they'll get to like 80, 90% cap and then we start like actually standing on the point and we do a really good job of getting like another 10, 15 seconds shaved off before it flips uh, just by like them playing spam and us having to back up for just a brief moment enough for it to flip. But... If we started doing that exact same thing from the beginning, from like 10% cap, and then every 10%, they'd have to like claw their way all the way. Like we can get so much more time and it, it's just much better than waiting until it's almost, ooh. Um, I'll call that a feed. I didn't end up dying, but uh, it is important and sometimes difficult to pay attention to when, um, yeah, and that, that's a good example, actually. When you can preempt that aggression, like, boom, one sticky, 100 damage on that scout. And now he has to completely back up. If I had another sticky on the way out, he might just die to me alone. Uh, in many cases, you just knock someone straight in the sky, and then, like, a player on slant, uh, like a soldier up here, or any scout anywhere on point is going to clean up that pick. Um, yeah. But I was saying, it was like a feed to be aggressive left lane there without control of left house, because that soldier can easily just walk out of balcony and then kill you, or just trade with you or something. Um, so here I'm getting absolutely annihilated as far as ammo goes. And again, just, like, I, I'm, I'm liking these, these aggressive peaks from me. Um, although, these are the rounds where I perform much better than later on, so things will fall off. So I just have to fully rotate out for ammo, which sucks. But on old versions of Bagel, there wasn't even this small pack on point. So you'd have to like 
either get kills on point to like get their ammo or uh, fully like rotate out to, to get packs, which was a nightmare. Okay, we're able to get the point here, but again, my ammo is just so terrible that like, I don't even... And yeah, this pack was just taken, so now they're obviously just gonna get the point because I'm completely out. Um, which really sucks. I kind of wish there was more kills um, so that I could be... Oh, man. Unfortunately, that guy surfs into my med and that sticky misses, but somehow my med holds on, uh, which is really nice. Okay, I do call out that trap, I think, on the stairs. Important to very clearly let people know. Ooh, I missed that sink. That could have, like, rolled the demo. They do use anyway. It's a demo solo uber. Okay, scout gets the force. But, oh, look at this. A little caught medic. Um, I think this is a fine place to, to land. Because you can easily get... Um, damn, that's sad that that guy gets our med. Um, you can pretty easily get reflashed and... Uh, just continue catching the med. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised that Air Sticky missed the soldier. I thought I read the, the bomb path correctly there, but uh, maybe I just bet too early. I could have maybe... Eh, I don't think that's a Sticky you can really afford to charge necessarily. I don't know. They just missed and it was unfortunate. Okay, missed the debt, but the soldier the scout backs up onto it again. And yeah, at this point... Ooh, I'm standing out Sticky. I didn't see that. Um, yeah, basically, just doing this stuff, just peeking the point, getting the spam on these players that have to stand on point. Overtime in Koth is absolutely broken, um, because in all other game states, no matter how much you're down on time, you can afford to back up and, like, heal players that are weak. Um... Because the point is not a place where you can really be healed well. Because uh, you're going to be actively taking spam and just not in a great position. Your heals are going to have to be very committed forward to heal you and therefore vulnerable to spam themselves. But in overtime, when you literally need to stand on the point, otherwise you lose, um, suddenly that's just such an exploitable, um, such an exploitable aspect of the game. Okay, so again, just looking for sinks. I keep peeking across and piping their med, which is funny. Um, a more aggressive team might bomb off of that, and that I think on a mid fight is something that's bombable. Um, but we're doing a good job of just spamming them out, I think. I notice I've been pretty bad about the sinks across right side point. Um, oh man, that demo is annihilated. Yeah, I tend to like miss them a bit. So something that almost happened there as well when the demo and I both peaked is sometimes you like cross the point while the demo is also crossing on the exact same side as you and then you both trap each other off <laughs> it's like it's literally just one of you is gonna die and in many cases it's both of you. Uh, fortunately that didn't happen there uh, but it, it looked similar to, to some situations where it would. Okay. I was looking down on my phone, but I got a kill, so we should be able to get the point here. Very nice. Um, looks like we're positioned expecting a four-man or something, and Silver Bomb's in. Perfect. Yeah, I love just shooting that stick where you expect the soldier to land. That's, like, one of the best ways to kill soldiers. Air piping soldiers is nice, but, like, we're going to get a little more success uh, with those kinds of stickies. So it looks like I was trying to, like, really go for some deep trap left side. Um for the forward hold, but their demo was... That was a weird time for the demo to peak, honestly. Um, oh, I don't know if they just jump out. Okay, definitely lingered too long there, but uh, just being able to, you know, recognize that and jump out in time is nice. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, look how much cap time they're getting kind of for free. And I actually just eat shit on point, so I have to back all the way up, take my soldier's pack, and we're taking an exchange to hold the point for longer, which is very nice. And that's like... If there was ever, like, an, a perfect example of why you, or how Koth exchanges work, and why the other team should have taken an exchange before trying to get a point, um, this would have been it. Because I, as a demo, got rolled down to 50 HP. I had to completely leave the fight, go and get a pack. Um, in, in the meantime, my soldier left house was jumping out to get a pack as well, meaning, like, we're basically down two for the moment. 
So it should have just been the easiest opportunity ever for them to cap the point, right? However, we have Uber still because they never exchanged to get Uber out of us. So we get to take the exchange now, stall the point. They actually end up dropping their demo in the exchange, which is definitely like a mistake. Um, but we would have been able, we would have still had the point right now, regardless of that. They may have gotten it right after, but uh, still like the exchange just completely bailed us out from, from losing the point. Um, and yeah, it, it's great for us. Um, that being said, we did give up a lot of cap time before actively like standing on the point taking that exchanger yeah i mean usually you would want to hold on to the exchange until the very end i guess but you you could be fighting for cap time the whole time or something um okay good enough damage on the scout i'm just walking around with pipes out eating a ton of spam uh but we're we're back in it so they're down a soldier it's fine to be, yeah, just getting aggressive here. We actually lose a soldier, which is not great. Um, so we might expect strong pressure on the point. And we're actually, okay, just going to four man. That is fine. And their med just dies. Uh, probably didn't have an Uber to use. This is really bad. Our scout, like, lives behind. You really don't want to be living on a four man. Unless you can live for the next fight. Because here's the thing. So what influences... I mean, this just gets into, like, four-man meta in general. What influences um, whether you go for a four-man or not is it's really all about time. In general, in Koth, it's all about time. So typically you see four-mans when it's disad and the other team has Uber and your team does not, right? Um, and why you see four-mans in situations like this is because you can't really adequately contest the point because you can't commit your heals because your heals will get caught to an uber and it'll be prolonged this ad for the next fight right so because you want to keep your heals safe you can't commit your heals forward to to contest the point the point's very difficult to contest so unless they're like super baiting anticipating the four man trying to like play the meta game um the point you can't really do much on so what's your alternatives well you can either a, wait and build your Uber, um, and then go take your fight with even Ubers. Or B, which is still A, you still build your Uber, but instead of just waiting and everyone's just sitting around, why not have everyone except the medic and the guy building on a spawn timer with like a pretty decent shot to force or kill their medic, right? Um, so that's kind of where the four-man meta comes from. And... Here, of course, it wasn't disad. It was evens, I believe. Both meds, there was an exchange. But we lost a soldier in left house. So we're expecting to lose the point, and we're expecting to not be able to take this fight until this soldier spawns, right? Um, so if the alternative is waiting for this guy anyway, then why not just sack the next three guys, get out with our heals and scout, and we have a good shot of killing their medic and having Uber for the next fight. Um, so this is more something you'll see on Bagel because the spawn times are so slow or so uh, fast on Bagel. You'll see more just impromptu four-mans off of just losing a guy or something. Um, and yeah, that's what we went for here. Now that being said, this late scout death is a big deal uh, because the only thing that would have stopped us from pushing as soon as possible is our latest guy to die right our last spawn wave so this soldier would have spawned in two but now we have a scout spawning in 10 so that's an extra eight seconds that we have to wait for a guy just because he like chose to try and live a little bit and then still died so if this scout literally just ran at the first guy that could kill him and like tried to just trade with him or something um which you know even if he gets that kill like that's actually fantastic for us but like if he dies as soon as possible then we actually get to take this next fight as as soon as possible and it, and it benefits us for him to die faster rather than slower um now of course it's not a big deal if he lives behind and doesn't die at all because it doesn't stall when the next fight happens but uh late deaths like that are a big liability in four mans and a lot of the time when i go for a four man um if their med gets forced when I'm mid-air in my bomb, and, like, the four-man's already successful with what we wanted to do. I will literally, like, find the 
you know, mo the closest non-flashed player and just, like, walk at them and try and kill them. Um, because I'm not gonna try and live or anything. I, I want to be on a faster spawn wave at this point. Okay, so there's a guy behind. We have the point capped, but uh, we're down three. So this is a very uncomfortable position to be in. Uh, of course, this guy behind should be dealt with with our spawners. We're not really worried about the point. Like, they can have it. We're just trying to preserve our ad at this point. I'm assuming... Oh, man. I almost feed there. Uh, guy behind... Oh, man. We take a 1v1. Actually, this is kind of bad for us. So, our scout takes a 1v1 with the guy behind and dies. Um, and actually, me sacking here would not be a terrible idea. Okay, and I do. And it's not able to do anything. Do get some damage, actually. But, uh, nope. Didn't have enough ammo to really do much. Yeah, bad situation there. Because um, then our guy just loses the 1v1. That should never be a 1v1. I don't know if it was taken as a 1v1 or if he was the only one that died and then our soldier or something. I don't know. Bad situation, though. And now... I think it's probably still evens. Um... If I had to guess. Okay, the soldier is going to be feeding. I missed, though. Okay. They're able to stall us a bit on the walk up, actually. Uh, anyway, probably looking to take an exchange here and then fight for the point after, if I had to guess. Ooh, look at that. Able to, like, preempt the, the damage a bit, and now that demo gets to die. Um, gets to die, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Being able to preempt that cross a little bit is nice. I'm trying to cap behind the Uber, at least get some cap time. Looks like their Uber is much better. That was a feed for me, probably. Um, ooh, I should have dead on that guy. I had a sticky there. Our med dies. Uh, I'm, like, not in any position as far as health goes to be able to really help him, unfortunately. Um... We do get the point. We deny three, meaning these guys are absolutely going to be able to recap when they fight with their guys. But uh, it's arguably worth the cap time. Or just the extra time. Um, I don't know. Okay, so they do just recap. But uh, pretty much even time right now. Um, and yeah, time to, to make some moves to get this point. Ooh, I'm not really doing too much across the point. This should be... Like, this demo is doing the exact same thing every time. I should be adjusting to it. I have him trapped off, so he should die. Perfect. And... Yeah, with the demo pick, point is going to be a lot easier to play. Um, because you get to do stuff like that. But I get bombed and killed. Um, I'm not going to call that a feed, I don't think. Because I kind of just got double bombed. Maybe. But now, if my team is, like, super... This was a crazy round, actually. We, like, survive and get Uber in this whole overtime thing. Like, look at the cap time as well. It's, like, almost over. We're losing picks. And then we're just able to, to get our Uber and cap. That's insane. Um, yeah, unless it's, like, being called to back up because, like, everyone is so weak we need to reheal, then I think it's totally fine for me to be where I was at doing what I was doing. I just happened to get double bombed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, Scout gets through left. Okay, this is literally just DM at this point. Um, probably a waste to use three whole stickies there. Um, I tend to like to trap like the side of point, right? I get killed. I do damage to the guy. This should be... This hopefully can work. Okay, nice. Yeah, I was definitely like not... I shouldn't have died at the end there. And usually, if this was an STV demo, then I would like go third person and like go demonstrate. But oftentimes in these like like double overtimes or overtime fights where it's literally just a spawn wave coming to get to the point as fast as possible. Um, I actually like to play in like the balcony of one of the houses, just like a little bit of high ground from where I'm like not really an obvious target because I'm not directly stopping the cap necessarily, but I have full vision of the entire front of the point that they're going to be coming from and I can just trap that off. Um, I, I really like a position like that. I probably could have dead there and killed their demo. Now I'm just trying to carpet behind him. Okay, this is a feed. That is like an extreme feed, just lingering there, hoping that their demo backs up. Um, yeah, definitely not not good. So at this point, our remaining players are just going to sack for the med, most likely. Oh, I think I know what's about to happen. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, lingering there. Because sure, if their demo backs up, you get the kill. But like, that demo is also like across the point and also getting damage on the, the combo. Um, so he might actually be perfectly happy to, to be chilling there. Uh, okay, they use, so I don't even have to four man. This scout is blocking my exit. We kill him, but we get cleaned up. Dying there, um, you know, whether that's a feat or not, it really does not matter for the state of the game. Because what were we going to do there? Well, we were pretty much just going to four man, right? So the fact that they took the uber and then killed three of us but didn't kill our med basically means, means like they did the four man for us, right? Uh, so we're perfectly happy with that. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, this was really bad, yeah. This, like, cost us a round. Um, I thought it was ad. Well, it was ad, right? Because they just used... I thought we had Uber. So I was just walking at them, like, calling to use. Um, and I got myself and my medic killed. That was, like, a huge mistake. That, uh... In, in Koth, like, it can be hard to... That's something I struggled with a lot more in the past and I've gotten a lot better at. Is, like, at does not mean you have Uber. And in Koth, you very rarely have Uber. Uh, just because teams exchange so often. Um, and again, they're just taking the Uber, like, giving us the four man. I basically got to, like, solo sack for the force there, which is perfect. So, definitely not a feed. Um, or if it was a feed, it's a feed that benefits us. Anyway, um, yeah. When it's add, um, it's still, yeah, very rarely is it add and you still, like, have an Uber. And in those cases, like, you should be looking to use or look if your Uber is worth taking as you're getting. Um, so it can be very easy to think, well, just because it's add, you think you have Uber before you do. Um, and then you end up, okay, this is a feed for me for sure. Because uh, not only did I get us forced by, like, really super peeking across point trying to kill that med, um, but I also just, like, hard commit even deeper. You could maybe make the case that I, like, distracted them enough, like, forced the scout forward instead of them just running out. So as a result, like, the med got cleaned up by the rest of my team. But uh, there were, like, way better ways I could have played that situation. Like, even just calling for the Uber and bombing into, like, Balcony. Um and just getting the med that way. Okay, I'm getting rolled across point. I get healed, which is good at this point. Not great on ammo. Probably should be reloading stickies here. I want to have those. But yeah, we have our work cut out for us here as far as the time goes. They aren't really doing anything though, so this is nice. Okay, yeah. At this point, I've kind of made the adjustment that like, they really just try and cross the right side of point. So I've been trapping that more. That I mean, that's something that just should be cleared, that generator trap, and most players do clear it, but uh, I mean, they don't have to clear it if you're not setting it. So uh, when I have nothing better to do, like right now, there's just not really anyone to shoot at, you may as well. Okay, they are fully crossing. I do nothing to stop the cross, but their med just walks in the trap. So that works out. Definitely a feed from me. If their med doesn't die there, then we just straight up lose the round instantly. Uh, because I'm so forward and not ready for the cross. So I've had like really... Th or I've had three really bad deaths in a row, I think, so far. Um, get both scouts. Ooh. That's a weird place for my med to kite. Like, I thought going uh, back right would have made more sense. I'm just completely alone. Um, and should I be alone? That's, like, weird that I'm so alone. Is that soldier behind? Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the point is so completely silent. So, yeah, it was just it was a recap. Um, I don't know if that last death was a feed or not. It's hard. I, I'd have to hear the comms. But uh, I was expecting, like, with four of us alive, that we would be fighting the point. But I was the only one there, which was weird. 
Um, I could have been getting baited. All right, so uh, round kind of thrown. Now time for another. And at this point, I think I'm like pretty prioritizing that right side cross because that's that's all they've been doing. They were doing more left side stuff in the first round or the first three rounds that we were winning, but we were winning those rounds. So, um, and I don't even think the right side aggression helped them much. Like this demo is getting shit on, right? Um, but I mean, they they tried to make some adjustments and they ended up winning the round regardless of whether those adjustments worked. I guess so they just keep doing it. Um, but with that being said, and with me making the adjustment, if I ever like get caught off guard to a right side aggression on point, that's kind of on me. But uh, so far, pretty decent about it. Pipe their med. So this is another case as well. Like, they're getting some cap time, but we're just not really adequately denying. We could just have this scout on point actively denying it. Um, that'd be fine. Okay, we take the exchange. Which is fine. Totally fine. I'm just waiting. I probably could have gotten some ammo during this. But, uh, no matter. The small pack is spawning. I'm not really doing much damage wise during this fight. Just kind of missing, but it's whatever. Oh, and I feed. Yeah, you have to be really careful about the right side aggression on point. Um, and I've been doing it a lot this this game without getting particularly punished. But keep in mind that right house is not a house you expect to have control of. Uh, versus left. So the left cross should be much freer in principle. Um, and that was like an unlucky timing that that scout happened to be so pushed up and could just hold W at me and trade. And when I say unlucky, I don't mean like um, I didn't deserve to die. Because uh, I did. I was, I was definitely too aggro. But um, yeah, I, I was just getting away with something earlier and I just don't there. Okay, that scout... Okay, they just use on them, so. Good, good. Taking the exchange, and they actually lose two in the exchange. That's perfect. And they're kind of wiping. So the only thing that matters here is keeping our med alive, and our med is being kept alive. So we're happy. They could even cap this point, and it really does not matter, because we'll just immediately recap it. Uh, only thing that matters is the add. I'm setting up traps. I... I so this is a situation in which you should be worried about a random guy behind, but I think they're both accounted for in front. Um, so that's all good. And this is where you'd want them to not be capping the point, though, because we've, like, got our spawners here. Um, they do just cap, though, which is kind of sad. We probably could have held the point for a bit longer. Our recaps, though, have generally been pretty good. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, that was a, some hang time on that pipe. That pick doesn't, like, mean... I mean, we, we were going to cap the point anyway, because their combo is all the way back there. But it means they don't really get to refight. And actually, oh, yeah, look at this. So since they fully left, we, like, get to forward. I'm really slow to get into the forward, so we don't really get to forward hold. Uh, but we get the, the forward spam. I get some damage on their med. It's, you know, as long as it slows them down just a little bit, then, then it's worth. Because uh, it doesn't cost anything. Another situation in which we let them get a lot of cap time before taking that exchange, uh, or not even taking the exchange, but just like getting on the point to stop it, uh, which is not good. We lose our soldier left house, meaning left is not being held, so I have to be very... Oh, we're just going to farm in. Okay. Good sticky on the med. Damn, I did not hit the, uh, the artist pipe. Oh, their med actually lives, I think. I don't know. Yeah, there weren't Ubers because we exchanged, so he couldn't have forced if he wanted to. Although, that Ahmed probably forces in a situation like that, so... Uh, very unfortunate that uh, my soldier and I could not get that kill. Anyway, seeing the rockets and sticks might even be worth rotating doors, because they seem very hard committed to this one. It's just, a, at this point, another four-man. I get super juggled and just killed, um, so not really able to do anything there. But uh, just unfortunate. I remember our soldier was not happy that because uh, he was right or er, left side, um, 
and it was like super free um, and we were just default going right expecting it to be forward held um, which to be fair like they were kind of in a forward hold but it was just like a fucked up forward hold that was like super um, right side heavy and so they were just giving up left assuming that we'd go right I guess okay we're taking an exchange so usually aggressively you don't really want to be involved in the exchange as a demo because you're just like a flash for no reason um, that scout like hard commits for me I don't I, I could have been positioned a little bit safer um, but if that guy's gonna commit all the way there on me then I can just surf the scatter gun away and then he dies like he did Ooh. uh oh I'm not getting good this is scary we're getting a lot of cap time I was caught a little off guard there, and this is a big feat, I think, uh, because I'm pretty sure my left house guy was dead or rolling out at the time, so I should not be taking that aggressive uh, fight on point, I don't think. Um, yeah, I wasn't really like in a good position to, to understand that fight either, just because I was getting rolled across point and had to get revealed. Um, okay, damn, their med almost dropped to that. It's even numbers we're exchanging. Um, yeah, this is just going to come down to the, the overtime fight, pretty much. Oh, this guy's left again. So there, I don't know if we were supposed to have... Oh, and I just die across point. That is a feat as well. Just not playing the right side correctly there. Because um, if they pick the time to, to be walking, then... Yeah. This course was like trying to get aggressive with the peak, but uh, I don't even know if right side of the point is the way to do it there. Because um, I have been like getting so much value when I was peaking the uh, left side. Like I tend to, when I was, when I'm peaking left, at least in like the first few rounds, when I tend to peak left, I uh, get like a lot of damage when I'm peaking that aggressively. But right side, I tend to just get the damage when I'm more passive on it or preempting them to peak right um yeah so there were a few bad deaths in that round as well just that uh it just you know kind of stunted my team's um odds of taking the fight towards the end there i, I think you know when i'm in the fights and involved and like doing things correctly i tend to, to contribute pretty positively but uh, I need to actually survive for that. So that is one insight I've been getting here is that uh, there's like right side timings. I think just left side crosses more is... Uh, yeah, like look at this. I'm, I'm getting damage across and I'm standing on sticks. I, <laughs> I remember this. Just like insisting on, on dying to those sticks. And there, yeah, just like not really actively pushing right, but still able to just get that spam really successful. Now that I do like. And I've been a fan, so that's something that, that's quite nice with the right side aggression, is not so much trying to cross it, but just trying to like peek it and then back up. Um, kind of like backing up along where that, that health pack is, or excuse me, that ammo pack. Um, just peeking it enough to get a sink off and backing up. So I'm not actually walking forward, I'm not making myself that much more vulnerable to anything happening in the right house and not necessarily that oh man not necessarily that vulnerable to a demo cross um okay this is just textbook forward i think i do like trapping this and i'm just gonna carpet nice little sink there this guy is feeding his brains out but is not getting cleaned up and then i die i huh I'm going to go ahead and call that as not... Hmm. I mean, I want to say that's just not a feed. Because everything's telling me that we should have properly rotated over to meet the attempted break. Um, and it didn't look like I was getting healed. I think if we actually commit our resources over to the, the side that their combo is trying to push, then not only does that scout die, but uh, that soldier would just get hard denied or would not even want to take the bomb to begin with um, like so many better things would happen okay so I know they're denying the point oh they're that's 
wild. Uh, our med died there in that earlier fight, so... Oh, their med just died. Look at that. It's Ad now. Oh man, this is a feed for sure. Trying to deep trap while there's still a guy unaccounted for is an easy way to give that guy a trade that he does not deserve at all. Okay, missed the debt, that's fine. Now I'm just trying to spam him as they enter. And look at this, like this is so much better, right? Even though they get through, even though I don't even contribute that much damage when they get through, just having that team support there um, gets those picks. So, I don't know what was going wrong the last time. Okay, this is... Jesus. If that guy is called main, then I'm kind of feeding there. Because we are down the soldier, so you're not expecting to be able to like be that far forward. I probably should not be standing where I was standing there. But I do get bailed out. Um, just kind of lucky for me. Okay, I like that trap. Man, I remember that, actually. How the hell did that scout not die? Oh, but wait for it. Yeah, don't ever. <laughs> um, okay, so we're taking the aggro uber into them. I don't usually get involved in these. Um, I feel like it's actually fine having an aggro demo in these ubers. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Our med dies. I don't know if I was doing that before or after our med dies, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the thought process is, like, quite simple. Like, they're down so many players. Like, we could theoretically spawn camp or at least, like, take a fight into their spawn. Um, it's, of course, safer to leave. So that's probably what we want to do. Okay. Oh, man. Imagine. If I can get that debt, then that medic is guaranteed dead. Uh, he died anyway, though. So, perfect. And now we have a very straightforward path to victory uh, because we have... 50 add and 15 seconds left on the clock. So all we have to do is just get this Uber. Like we don't even have to really do that much. Just get this Uber and then we can cap. Uh, we can cap before the Uber depending on where they're positioned. But once we take this Uber, just getting any kills at all is probably enough. Because I don't think their medic should be getting. Okay, like their demo's doing a decent, and here comes the four man as we're expecting. Right, but our medic is leaving alone and dies. Me dying there is not great, of course, just because it's better to live, but I was just playing to cover my med's retreat, because even if I die, um, as long as our med lives, then, you know, the play is still the same. We just get to take that uber. But uh, really bad misplay from, from our team, I think, to have our med leave alone like that. Should have had a scout with them. Um... Yeah, I, don't, I already forget if a guy got through main, because I was that's what I was trying to hold. I'm pretty sure no one did. Um, I could be wrong. Though. Anyway, at this point now it's disad and a much scarier situation. Um, and looks like we're just going to forward or four man. The scout saw me going into house, so I just don't really get to sack. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, that was really, <laughs> really bad uh, from them. Kind of just granting us the, the ad that, you know, we win the game with. Um, at this point, do we have Uber? I think we, yeah, we do. I hear that soldier bombing. Is that an enemy behind us? It might be. I mean, at this point, 10 seconds left, you just take any Uber at all. And I remember, th I remember doing, like, the math in my head at the time, like, there's no way they get an uber in time in like the 15 seconds on our half uh 25 seconds on their half unless it goes into like deep overtime so yeah we don't really have to worry about that and we can kind of just take whatever uber we want uh, and we do take an uber i try and cross with it and this is pretty disconnected actually uh yeah my own ah. I was going to say, my only contribution to that fight was hitting a pipe, but the fight was like almost nothing because they just weren't really... I mean, there's an Uber in their face, so um, their only option is to just run at point, and a lot of the time your your gut reaction is going to be like, I have to kite this Uber and hope someone else on my team can, can prolong the cap time. Um, but yeah, that was Bagel. Um, in retrospect, I do think that the rounds we lost... Uh, a good chunk of that does fall on my shoulders for some really bad deaths um, and the one really bad play with the Uber uh, that we didn't have quite yet. 
Um, outside of that, though, like I died a lot, right? And Bagel is a map that uh, you die a lot on. Uh, and let's actually see if I can pull up this log. Um, yeah, here it is. So Bagel is a map that you you die a lot on. And I have top deaths on my team, right? But there were maybe five of those were like really bad. A lot of them are just four mans or um, four mans were a big chunk because we four manned a lot. And some of them were just like objectively valuable, like just getting a force and dying for it when it was disad um, or them taking an Uber into us and I'm caught but our med lives, like all of those are like objectively good or at the very least neutral to the state of the game, like not really bad at all. Um, and now it kind of sounds like I'm coping about the fact, but I just want to like clarify my thought process here because I did go into this critically um, trying to figure out what was going wrong. So um, as far as like approach to the game goes, uh, or approach to bagel goes. Honestly, I think uh, the. I mean, for starters, just like listening to comms would avoid like a lot of those those bad feeds, because um, a couple of them were just from guys being in left house, and I'm not really paying attention to that fact. Um, but I think some of them are just like kind of in the moment mistakes, as just like poor decision making, and not really like a failure in a in like your s approach to the game in general or like a failure in your systematic uh, decision making just kind of like one offs I do think somewhere where I was failing um, in a more systemic way that's much more fixable is that right side aggression on point I was getting very aggressive right side and it usually didn't materialize in any strong damage um, and when I say get aggressive I mean like trying to cross right side which I should probably only do when right house is being shoved by my team. Um, because, yeah, a lot of the times that I crossed right side, I would get punished for it from either right house aggression or just like not really get much damage like I would with the, the left side shoves. And most of the time I was getting damage right side point was when uh, was when I was like kind of peeking it, not crossing it, right? Which, which is an important difference. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to talk about. There was like a lot I went over here uh, on Bagel. Bagel is uh, probably the best, well, I'd say definitely the best Koth map. Um, and just playing the point in general um, is, is important. So when I talk about like the, I should only cross right when my team is shoving that or only cross left when my team has control of that like obviously a lot of that is like well duh like everyone learns that at a really early level uh on demo but honestly like so much of finding those timings when you cross the point um for me just comes down to like vibes and and feeling out the fight um and just it's really hard to describe like I play this map very, very intuitively. Uh, so sometimes that does get me into into trouble when like I feel like there's a nice cross timing, but it's kind of against the grain um, as to what would make sense logically. And sometimes it works out uh, really nicely, but other times uh, definitely not so much. And I should be smarter about that. Uh, but yeah, that's enough yapping for me. Uh, so I'm going to close things off here first Koth review so far getting published to the channel. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys learned something and see you next time.